macam-macam This bug come in. Got a shot. I think I might hit a, maybe a couple inches a little too high. Oh my god. Booyah, baby. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow. It came in right out of the tree. Second, he stood right there. Um, trying to find my arrow. Oh my god. That was crazy. I had to turn the camera on and start filming and got my bow. Somehow got the shot off. tell if he crashed or not. I heard him run off. He might still be standing over there or something. Oh, first deer with the new bow. Matthew C7 Extreme. Thanks to my dad. Got it for graduation. It is October 15th. It is almost seven o'clock. It is 6.54. <sighs> kind of shaking. That was amazing. I just hope I didn't hit him too high. I hit him slightly too high. He might have been, I put my 20 yard pin on him and I think it was a little bit closer than 20 yards, so I might have hit him. I mean, I know I hit him just a tad bit high. Oh, gosh. Oh, I hope I get him. Uh, Jay's hunting with me. He's over on the 30 on the, uh, in the plastic stand. And he said he's seen a yearling and heard some thrashing to it just about 10, 15 minutes ago. See, had a cup, had a doe, and a had a doe and a couple of yearlings come in, and the doe didn't give me a shot. Uh, the yearlings came and ate it, or licked on the ground where I put that lick, mineral lick at, and they they wandered off, and I didn't think I was gonna see anything else. And then that big boy stepped out. I mean, he's not, he's he's. It's a pretty good, decent deer. Big bodied. First kill. The Matthew Z7. Hope I can find him. Uh, you can tell that the camera's shaking. I'm going to. 
I'm gonna give him time, make sure, give him enough time to die. Yeah, I, like, like I said, I think I hit him a little high. So, it might give him, it might take him a while. Whew. That was awesome. Well, me and Jay uh, went and already tracked the deer, found the arrow. Uh, dead, our deer was dead, pretty much on contact. I uh, went probably maybe 10, 15 yards from where I found the arrow and pronounced dead. Now we're on the way to go retrieve him. Nice little late point, kind of got a weird weird uh, left side, left side on it had two points right next to each other it's kind of weird but he's a pretty decent buck big body we'll show him to you here in a second uh, I'm here at my stand can't really tell but this is where the salt lick is my stand is over yonder in that tree and from here is about 20 yards found the arrow about right here and he ran shot him he ran up and around this tree over here I heard him come over here and it sounded like he standed stood it and uh, I guess he bedded down after a little while and I'm right over here and there she blows Bad, not bad. Big bodied. Uh, we're gonna load him up in old green and take him off and gut him and take him down to the house. It's BCB hunting channel. Me and old Jay. Get down there and hold him for a little bit. Yeah, okay. Damn, yeah, it's just thorns right here. I think these horns tore up that tree. Nice big old eight point. Body. There he is. His last minute kill, it happened about a minute and a half. Stepped out and had enough time to throw the camera on and grab my bow and shot. And he was off. I guess he died pretty quick after the shot. I waited till dark, went down the truck, uh, waited for Jay, came back up here and found an arrow. And we couldn't find blood, but I knew where he went. And we looked over here in the woods, and there she lay. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of weird on this side. Got two points right next to each other. First bow kill with the Matthew Z7 Extreme. Pretty excited. We're gonna get off here and go gut him, take him down to the house. So we'll see you after a while.
that right there is the exit wound from the uh, G5 Montec. That is nasty. That is nasty business right there. Whew. You can see that triangle. Yeah. It blew right through him. Good deal, good deal. Alright, we're going to go gut him now. BCB hunting channel over and out.